the practice is about 60 people. Um, it's actually probably only dealing with no more than 15 projects at a time. And uh, my objective is to try and be very aware of maintaining a scale of making. So from uh, the smaller scale items of the everyday, like um, ironmongery, uh, furniture and textiles, um, right through to uh, city projects and then more recently, um, actually through time, some that have not been requited, but master planning, if one can call it that, at a larger scale. Uh, so our largest project is a, is a master plan for the White City area of London, which is a disused uh, industrial site um, in White City. So I'm looking forward to that, getting its planning permission very soon. But the point is that um, that range of making is one side. The other is that um, I guess we've never lost touch with thinking and academia. Um, because that's where the roots are. So uh, it, it very much started with my own gestation in London as a student in the late 70s at the AA, uh, the Architectural Association and the Royal College of Art, which was a ferment of uh, a cauldron of urban thinking under Alvin Boyarsky, uh, particularly with a series of studios looking at the city uh, very intensely. And that's never left me. Uh, however, being in London now, uh, the interesting thing in that number of people, uh, there are 17 nationalities and an incredible diversity of backgrounds now. So the nice thing about the way that the practice have, has evolved is a kind of openness um, and a, a universality in a way. So one, uh, that's great. It's like the United Nations in there, you know. And uh, so that's, that's a, 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 for me, one of the greatest pleasures are the, are the social interactions of this cross-cultural kind, although our work is almost entirely concentrated in London. Um, a sort of sense in which, at, at some points, the social agenda and the uh, artistic agenda run side by side in architecture is always the thing that stimulated me hugely. One veers to some, at some occasions, you know, towards the political, others to the absolute uh, joy of materials and the haptic and aesthetics. That's a fantastic um, kind of uh, stream to be in, if you like, because it's bringing these two things together. And actually the impulse to create a framework for social interaction is at the end of the day the most satisfying thing to see these spaces and things you make in use and so that's just it we as architects kind of in my mind start with the pavement and uh, you know and some somewhere we meet artists you know, at a horizon they're coming from a non-program a fantastic sort of uh, a, a, a liberation. We, we are firmly fixed in the world of pragmatics and rise, but we can meet and we can change the environment and make it better for people. Yes, it's difficult. If you'd asked me ten years ago, people would have had a mindset about a way of building and so on, and like a, an artist, one carries um, uh, you know, obsessions with materials and the evolution of particular tectonics. However, I would say the key project for us was uh, the renewal of uh, a site in central London, a kind of at the navel of London in some ways, St. Martin in the Fields, which was a sort of epic struggle um, of, a, of a kind, not, not of any aggressive kind, but just of difficulty. Um, from the number of stakeholders um, in that project to the bodies outside who had a great interest in it um, and its sensitivity. Um, but the way in which, having handed it back in a couple of phases, if essentially four years ago, that everything that was hoped for in terms of what it would do, in terms of sustainability of the site, was kind of achieved. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think, again, architects have a huge responsibility to make sure that the efficiencies of the way in which spaces come together and the way they're built adds up to all the uh, quantitative measures of sustainability. And that goes without saying, and I think in the projects one sees a naturally a progression which is really, really thrilling. So that's important. However, I think it's... Um, I think there's a great deal of short-termism in politics and so politicians just don't get it. The people who really do are the stakeholders who live in places. Mm -hmm.